playing on the bot lane can be annoying. While on the other lanes you mostly can assume what type of champion you will probably encounter as an opponent. On the bot lane, people are playing different types of champions, so you cannot be sure if you are going to lane against a healing support. Mr. I poke you from 10 kilometers. Mrs. You stay there the next 5 hours or Thomas the tank engine. So are you going to have fun during the laning phase? Well this mostly depends on what the supporters will choose since here you have many options to counterpick the enemy. When you are unlucky, it is possible that you get out drafted and have to play against Morgana as a pike. Nope. 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 But what if I tell you that there is a bot lane comb that has enough range to poke enemies from far away, has a lot of sustain and CC chains in their kit and also deal a decent amount of damage. Senna and Seraphine bot lane combo. And now I will show you how to dominate the laning phase with them. At the beginning I need to clarify that Seraphine is the one taking the farm since she is going to build the P items which are quite expensive. Senna don't really need CS since she has her souls she can collect just like a homeless man collecting some coins from the street. Her passive increases her attack damage, her range and her crit chances, while also granting 8 gold for one collected Mistraith. That's how these small midgets are called. This is one reason why Senna doesn't struggle buying expensive items without farming any CS anyway let's start talking about the laning phase. As soon as both of you are on the lane, you guys should start abusing your range by poking the enemy down since Senna outranges most champions. Her auto attack range is incredible, but a lot of damage comes from her Q spell. When you hit you enemy with it, some weird green thing will appear on their body. This is one of the passive souls Senna can collect which deals some additional damage towards the enemy. The Q actually has two range options. The circle show the area where the enemy needs to be in order to cast your spell, and the other line is the part that will actually deal damage. So when you want to hit enemies that stand further away, you can cast your Q spell by hitting the minion wave, and you can damage the enemy as well. The main damage from Seraphine comes from her Q spell which is also a great tool to annoy the enemy. Hitting Q several times on the enemy and he rages. And when you get caught once, it will be better to start shopping for your next item, since you are going back to base anyway. You also better be praying when Nocturne turn the lights out, since you won't see my OE spell falling from the sky. That's the good part about the slow spell. Even after they killed me the spell won't stop flying towards the enemy, making it a even trade. And when you decide to come a bit to close, you will regret it in an instant, since we will just run you down. You think you are fast enough, but luckily my Q spell is an OE ability. No one can escape. Well, since we have now talked about the poke part of the spot lane duo, we move to the next strength. The fact that both of them have a lot of sustain. Senna and Seraphine are both squishy champions, so when the enemy has an all-in champion, they can be burst down quite easily. But when you decide to play a poke champion like Zerath that deal damage over a long period of time, both of them can just use their abilities to heal them. Senna can use her Q spell on allies to heal them and herself. But it also works on enemies, minions, wards, turrets and jungle monsters. So feel free to heal yourself wherever you want. Her Q is overall a pretty strong spell since it can be used to deal damage, heal allies and your lonely ass, slows the enemy, and gives you another passive stack, while you deal more damage on him by just right clicking them. Seraphine can shield her allies with her W spell in a certain area around her. It can be used as a heal spell, but therefore her passive needs to be stack up 4 times. You get 1 stack when you cast 1 ability. Really useful when you want to survive sticky situations. Hello and welcome to, oh crap. This was so stupid and dangerous that we deserve to die. Today we are going to present Senna and Seraphine, and here is the first clip. Hey I think it's getting darker. Oh, no. Please stay away from me, oh and there comes the Luxol. Yeah we got the ADC, time to burst her down, but watch out she shoots back. Well we will kill this greedy cow instead. And now it's your turn MF. Aw oh, crap. Here we go again. Slam. Hey look. We managed to survive it. Our healing is so overpowered that I run back into the misfortune ult. It's a demonstration of power since we fear absolutely nothing. Not even this cow on cocaine. Damn bro, you already greed last time man you know how it went. That's it with, oh crap. This was so stupid and dangerous that we deserve to die. Let us continue. The healing is so good. I can even mess up a tower dive and still get out alive. Well the other part of the truth is that the enemy also messed up a lot, but that doesn't matter. You flashed toward the wrong direction. Nice Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I mean, when it gets too dangerous you can just use Zhanya's to save your ass. 
Since when the enemy jungler mess up the many ganks in a row, it results into tilt and tilt result into bad decision making. But there's one they fear. In their tongue, he's Dova Clean. Dragon Ball. Excuse me sir, what the fuck are you doing? But not all jugglers are retarded like that Diego, or maybe they are but they chose the right champions that require no skill by killing squishies like me by pressing one button, so I counter them by also pressing one button. Luckily ultimates have a decent cooldown, well apparently this one doesn't, so I have to activate my genres again. Mlux can you please remove this thing underneath me. But it is still pretty annoying when you deal a lot of damage with your skill shots, but you don't hit them because no. the enemy somehow keeps avoiding them. When you are just like me and can't hit any kind of ability which I know from playing Ezreal you're lucky. Since this bot lane comb has also a lot of CC let's start with Senna. Her W spell is a root that need a bit of time until it does its work, so the enemy has some time to decide where exactly he wants to be buried. It is a little bit hard to land since it can't get through minions. Luckily it also stuns enemy in a certain area around the stun. So when you hit an enemy minion that's nearby your opponent. You can still stun her. But most people are smart enough, so don't rely too much on it. Damn even a bot knows what to do. Luckily Seraphine has a stun that goes right through minion and has a ridiculous range. The problem is that this spell is quite slow, that even a minion can dodge it. Another disadvantage is that one E spell is not enough to stun the enemy. It has the ability to slow them by 99%. In order to make this spell work as a stun, you have to gain 4 passive stacks again. Now Seraphine shoots 2 E waves in a row, where the first one has the ability to slow and the second one to stun. Once the enemy is stunned, you can use all your abilities to burst the enemy down and most of them will melt away. Now witness an intense low elo fight. Until now both champion only had spells which are quite easy to hit. But what if I tell you that the ultimates are even easier to hit? Senna's ult is just a huge snipe shot which shields all allies in this huge area, and the center part of the shot is the actual part that deal damage towards the enemy. Seraphine has a charm wave which extends when you hit an enemy with it, which is quite OP in teamfights, and no matter how bad you are at this game, there is no way you can miss it. Anyway, it is better to use your ult in a team fight since you can hit more enemies with it. Nope. I'm going to kill myself. The best case scenario is obviously when you guys get fed on the bot lane. Even though Seraphine is the one farming on the bot lane, she is not going to take any kills. It's not a ramp when she takes them since she is building up the items, but I would say that Senna is the one who has a way better carry potential. Combined with her passive stacks and the AP items, late game she turns into a strong ADC with a ridiculous range. And still having some mobility and CC in her kit. So you will be surprised when you take a look at the damage chart at the end of a game. But always keep in mind that you are both still squishy supporters who can be killed by any kind of assassin. And if you are wondering why a Nautilus on the mid lane is winning against a Yon and outdamaged everyone in this lobby, click on this video right here.